Diego, this is it. Comic-Con is finally here. Welcome, ladies and gents, to Nerd Valhalla. We're coming to you from the Nerdist Carnival here at Petco Park in downtown San Diego. We're Nerdist, Geek and Sundry, and Smart Girls at the Party are hosting a plethora of nerdy delights. In fact, this stage behind me will soon be home to celebrity appearances that will rival any you'd see in Hall H. I mean, is Harry friggin' Potter gonna be in Hall H this year? I didn't think so, but the Nerdist Carnival isn't the only amazing thing you can find here at Comic-Con. While it's too early for news to start leaking out of Hall H just yet, there's a ton of cool stuff all over the convention hall floor. The Warner Brothers and DC booths are face-meltingly amazing this year thanks to the costumes they've trotted out from Batman v Superman, Dong of Justin. But we've got our closest look yet at the Batflex suit, which looks scuffed up and used with fabric sprayed down and some kind of flexible Kevlar material. The armored bat suit, which seems to clip over the regular one and includes a totally impractical but super cool cape of its own. And good God, yes! The Wonder Woman suit with a sword, shield, and that's right, bitches, golden friggin' lasso. What is back again showing off some more of their amazing practical effects and statues? This year, the highlight is these amazing Alliance soldiers and armor from our parent company, Legendary's upcoming Warcraft movie. I mean, holy shit, you guys. This is some high fantasy magic up in here. The Lego booth is wall-to-wall -wall lines per usual with one crazy cool centerpiece, a Lego recreation of our favorite moment from Avengers Age of Ultron's Hulkbuster fight. The Walking Dead has an activation sure to unsettle every SDCC guest with an ominous room full of gory, shambling zombies and some fun hints at next season. Who the hell are the wolves? Who are they? And at the Star Wars booth, they've trotted out Rey's speeder from The Force Awakens, showing us details like never before. Notice her staff? Badass! And check out the net full of junk that she's been scavenging. I've never been this pumped about junk in my life! Of course, the world's biggest con is home to the world's exclusiest collectibles, and here's a secret one that has us super excited. He-Man fans and any fan of the 80s will want to stop by the Mattel or Super 7 booth to pick up one of these Skeletor coins. Oh my god! This coin gives you access to one of the hottest venues at Comic-Con, the Skeletor's Lair pop-up shop on 8th and G. The shop is decked to the nines as Skeletor's haberdashery, complete with custom velvet wallpaper and a mounted battle cat. <laughs> there you can find all kinds of con exclusives that will make any child of the 80s or fan of retro drool. I'm talking He-Man muscle figures, villain pint glasses, super limited edition pieces by incredible artists, amazing He-Man villain themed t-shirts, and best of all, a Chia Pet Moss Man. The detail that Mattel and Super 7 put into this pop-up and the collectibles inside it blew us away and this is exactly the kind of thing brands should be doing to get fans and collectors excited. But what do you guys think? Are you fans of what you're seeing on the show floor? How much do you want a pack of those He-Man muscle guys? Let's discuss, because I will buy them off you. Click on my Skeletor coin to be granted access to a Nerdist Channel subscription. Kyle will tell you how Pokeballs work on Because Science. And guys, get over here to Petco and play some laser tag. And always check Nerdist.com for more Nerdist at Comic-Con.